explain what I'm talking about. Our anniversary show, we had a nice cake backstage. You know, and it's, oh, Mel comes, oh, I'm gonna stop by. Oh, great, well, show the footage, it's Mel. Well, Back. It'll happen sometime. He won't, it might not even be in this country. Okay. <laughs> My first guest, you know, you know, it's amazing to me how this goofball can be one of the best actors in the world. You know, no, you know something? I see him, he acts like a 12-year-old. He throws food at people, he dumps <laughs> drinks on you, and yet you see him like in Hamlet, you see him in, in the, the Guy Without the Face movie, you see him in his conspiracy <laughs> theory. I, I mean, it's amazing to me how such a goofball can be such a good actor. Anyway, the latest film is Conspiracy Theory. This is an excellent film. It opens everywhere on Friday. Please welcome Mel Gibson! <laughs> What a, what a beautiful looking audience. Right? Yes, it's a good looking <laughs> Now, don't do anything with that. No, we did that once already. We did that little trick. I know, it's just a governor. It's to add tension to the sequence so that every now and then. Well, it's adding plenty of tension. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, speaking of uh, uh, cakes and things, you got the Hasty Pudding Award? Oh, yes. Now, we yes. should explain to people what that is. That's a Harvard gives that out. Yeah, the kids get together and they, um, they give you a roasting and they give you. Um, humiliating tasks to perform. They make you wear strange things like bras and kilts, and they make you sing and dance and stand on your head and well, the, well, act like an idiot. Really. Well, there are no women in me. <laughs> I mean, you know, because, you know, I, I, when I lived in Boston, I was the driver for the Hasty Pudding. Every year, I'd pick up, like, whatever star it was. Yeah. And the Hasty Pudding Club, it's theatrical organization, but it's all guys, so the, oh, the yeah. guys play the women's parts. There's a what. tradition. Uh, women yeah. were not allowed to perform on the stage when it's all kicked off, so right, there's right. a tradition of all the men getting drag, and it's, it's very funny. They're very clever kids. Now, you said they, they made you eat, what was it? Dog food. Not dog food. <laughs> mm. now, now, what, did you go for the, the gravy stuff, or what, what kind of? Uh, well, I sort of had a mix. It was, uh, it was the, uh, the jelly meat stuff combined with the crunchy stuff. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't knock it. It prevents tartar. <laughs> I know you got a healthy coat. And it's no tartar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then with tartar control. Yeah, tartar control, the whole nine yards. <laughs> well, I think we have a tape. Don't we have a tape of you getting this award? And you have like this, this goofy outfit on. Oh, yeah, here, take well. a look. Actually, this is what you wear probably around the house. And there he is. <laughs> I think that's when you. Uh, from when you did Annie on Broadway. That's right. Mistake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of the, you know, <laughs> get your eyes to disappear. No, now, <laughs> let me ask you, you just got back, you on vacation, where'd you go? Was it China? I went to Beijing. Did you take the whole family? I took everybody. Took yeah. everybody to Beijing? Yeah. The kids want to go to Beijing. <laughs> hey, it is a hot spot. <laughs> it's a swinging place, Beijing. No, yeah. no, wait, no, I mean, I, I know your kids. Why do they want to go to... Where are we going, Dad? Are we going to Disneyland in Europe? Are we going to, know we're going to Beijing? What do they do in Beijing? Well, they climb the Great Wall. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, we tried to lose them, but uh, they, they <laughs> found their way back. They, they, uh, we went down to see, you know, terracotta soldiers and all these wonderful things. It's an amazing country. Oh, really yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the Chinese people love them. I think they've never seen so many kids of one set of parents because they're only allowed to have one, you know? So that's right, that's yeah. right. They're only allowed one or two there, aren't they? Yeah. That's right, I never thought of that. So they look at it as some kind of athletic feat or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, are you... <laughs> Now, are you recognized there? I mean, did, 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 the beauty of it is we all look alike to them. And, and I, I, I was waiting for the rest of my family to arrive in a hotel, and I was standing in the lobby, and my yeah. wife said, hey, I'll do that. I'll wait for the kids in the lobby. You go and hide someplace like usual, you know? And I said, no, no, let me, let me stand here in the lobby. I wanted to because I never get a chance to stand in a lobby of a hotel. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. So no one, not, not at all? Did they... No, not no? a thing. No. Oh. Yeah. Did you learn any Chinese? Oh, yeah. Ni hao ma. 
What is it? That's how, how you doing, you know, Nihama. No, that's a soda, isn't it? Nihai? Well, it kind of sounds like <laughs> it. And, and the reply is Hang Hao, and I usually say to the left, you know, and it's. Uh, oh. <laughs> It's a brilliant actor with the mind of a 12-year-old. This, this is what we have here. Yes, it's a problem. Yeah, I don't did you do what, what, did, what? Were the Chinese enthralled by any of your sounds? Because I've, a lot of people don't realize that you... Uh, they make great sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you do any of your sounds for the Chinese? Oh, yeah, you know. You know. Well, that's, that's very good. That's, that's water dropping. Yeah, it was a kind of torture for him, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, give me, get, wait, give me the water again. That's good. Now, what other sounds do you have? Oh, hell. Uh, oh, hell, I would like to see yeah. that. Well, <laughs> crack, yeah. A herd of cows? Herd of cows? A herd of cows. Yeah. Now, this is crummy. You can't really do a herd now, of cows. This is a herd. This is a whole herd. Okay, not a single cow, a herd. Okay, you have to use your imagination a okay. little because it doesn't really sound like a herd of cows. Okay, but it, okay. okay here we go. <laughs> That was not even close to a herd of cows. First, that was only about three cows. That's not a herd. No, no. I said, it sounds like you heard a cow. You know. Oh, it's, I, it's, it's, now, what else do you have? Do you have any other livestock or birds? You know. Oh, well, now no, that would be what? Flipper? Uh, flipper, I guess. Oh, yeah. that was very good. Flipper. That was very good. Look, you didn't even know until I said it. Yeah, right. You didn't yeah. even know what it was until I said it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, voice to the bottom of the sea. You know, so. But. What? <laughs> hey, you want to do it? Here, do it. Here you go. <laughs> Now we do this bit. Look at your face, heart. Remember that? <laughs> when we come back, we'll take a break. And uh, we have an outtake of a trick you played on uh, Julia Roberts. I know you're Which notorious one? for these, for, again, for these, for oh, these yeah. pranks. But now, now she looked generally frightened by this. Well, you'll see. You'll see with Julia Roberts right after. Usually, more with Mel right after this. Come right back. <laughs> Imagine this, uh, this stunt you pulled on Julia. And uh, you, you, you pull stunts. You'd think actors would catch on by this point. But yeah. Now, now, tell us exactly what the stunt is in Conspiracy Theory. What, what did you do to her? I think, I think this clip is I, I actually put a uh, cockroach with a, with a lot of hair gel and some custard in her hand, you know, so. It was a live cockroach? No, no, it was a plastic one. But she didn't know the difference. It didn't matter. It was just as good as a live one. Oh, I see. Now, was there some reason for this to, to motivate her as an actress? Was there any? Well, enough time had elapsed. She trusted me again. So I thought it was time to make her uneasy. <laughs> All right, now, so this is her reaction to it. This is a scene from the movie. This is a, now, was everybody else on the set in on this except A couple her? of people knew it, yeah. Okay, all right. So, what, it's in your hand? In my hand. All right, let's see. Let's see how it works. Go ahead. And, uh, do they have a secret handshake? Screamer in the business. Yeah, the best screamer in the business. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I said that. But see, that, you see, no, no, that shows. See, that's why you're basically 12. To other guys, the best screamer in the business would mean something else. To you, it means putting a cockroach in a woman's hand and getting the scream. Yes, you just... Now, you got set on fire on this movie. <laughs> I did get set on fire. They now, fired a rocket at me, and it went straight up my uh, <laughs> bottom. And now, it, no, what do you mean a rock? No, no, what are you saying? They fired a missile through a window and it was on this wire and it was supposed to just like dying hit the wall and explode but it got off the wire and chased me and julia up the hallway and i had burns on my uh, hospital wear my george clooney suit no how you know? did it find you now what heat seeking yeah <laughs> I think, I think it was coming in for refueling, oh, actually. Oh, I wish uh, we had that <laughs> were, you, were you seriously injured at this thing? No, no, but it gave me a, you know, a hot kind of feeling. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Julia had something to do with that one. Perhaps. So tell us, now tell us about the movie. I, you know, I, I thought it was very good. I thought it was very well written. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't one of those movies where they go, oh, wait a minute. I mean, I've you really had to pay attention. You did. It, it asks you to invest a little uh, thinking time. But... Uh, 
Uh, I love the script. I thought it was a wonderful script. And, and you look for those unusual sort of gems. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, tell people what it's about. Basically, it's about a guy who looks like a stalker or a bag man who's kind of like pining over this woman who thinks he's kind of crazy but has a soft spot for him. And it ends up that uh, through all his mad theories and so forth that he's actually onto something that's kind of genuine. Yeah, but you are a genuinely creepy guy for the most yeah, of the movie. absolutely, yeah. Well, that's why it's kind of disconcerting because the people are going, oh, he seems creepy. Yeah, yeah. but funny creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or just plain creepy. Yeah, plain like creepy, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what is this scene we're going to see? Which scene is this? Scene? I, oh, I think it's Jerry probably espousing some of his misguided theories on the problems of the world. Somehow. Well, the fun thing is, is like for, for every like 10 misguided theories you say, the eleventh one is there's some truth in it. That's, that's right. That's why you have to listen to this movie. Here's okay. Here's yeah. a scene from Whoa. Conspiracy Theory. Here we go. Did you? Were you ever inundated with real conspiracy things? I mean, did you sort of follow the lives of people who do this kind of thing? Oh yeah. There's there's catalogs of them on the internet. I mean, yeah. it's insane. I mean, do you find that sort of thing fascinating? Oh yeah. Deeper sure. and deeper. In well, life? some of them are plausible. See. Yeah. There's always one grain of truth. Oh, yeah. That's how they hook you. And, and it's, uh, you, you look at it and you think, that's pretty plausible. But in the next breath, they'll say something crazy, like M&Ms are blue because, uh, you know, they're trying to uh, get us used to eating blue stuff. No, that is true. It is? Yes, yes, actually. <laughs> you know who put that out? You know the uh, 2,000 flushes people? They did it? The blue water. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You ever see those, those diaper commercials or the Depends? It's always blue. There's no blue fluid in people. Depends have blue fluid. Don't in you them? ever see in the ad they always pour blue fluid? Oh, I see. Yes, yes. that's okay. why. Yeah. You see, that is true. So oh, that's okay. a true one. Yeah. <laughs> now, are there, is it? <laughs> now there's going to be a Lethal Weapon 19. I understand. Yeah, there is. <laughs> they are going to do four. 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 Danny too. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be great. Danny, so we... Joe, Renee, you know, get them all back and. Oh, that'll be great. Fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Now, where are you off to tonight? Now, you say you have to run. Now, where, you, where, where do you have to go? I have to uh, <clears throat> meet my wife for dinner. She hasn't More seen children. me in a while. More yeah. children. More children. Yeah. Mel, thank you very much, folks. The, the movie is Conspiracy <laughs> Theory, and it opens uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Mel, say hi to your wife for me, by the way. Cal Ripken, Jr., right after this. <laughs>